Well, her fight for justice is finally over. Harry Dunn's mother was in court yesterday to witness her son's killer being given an eight-month suspended sentence. US citizen Anne Sekoulis was driving on the wrong side of the road when she crashed into 19-year-old Harry and she fled the UK, claiming diplomatic immunity shortly afterwards. Well, it's been a three-year campaign from Harry's family and his mum, Charlotte, joins me now alongside family advisor, Rad Seeger. It's very good to see you, Charlotte. What a long, hard road you've had. You must be absolutely exhausted mentally and physically. How, how are you feeling this morning, though? Morning, Lorraine. Thanks for asking that question. Um, a lot lighter, um, bizarrely. I, I, I don't think anything's really sunk in properly yet. That's going to take some time. But this morning, I feel pretty refreshed. Thank you. Good. And do you feel that justice has been done? Do you feel that it has now? Yeah, for sure. You know, we, we were told just over three years ago we had a less than 1% chance of having anyone held accountable for Harry's death. And look where we've got to. You know, mm. we've had that criminal, criminal conviction and she... And Sekoulis now has to live with that criminal record for the rest of her life. So, yeah, we're good with that. And, Rad, you've obviously witnessed firsthand, of course, you've been there all along, the suffering of Charlotte and the whole family and the sheer courage and determination that she had to soldier on. Lorraine, good morning. I, I, frankly, I don't know how she's sitting next to me this morning. You know, of course, the, the public see Charlotte you know, on TV, but I, because she's my neighbor, I, I see the heavy toll that this tragedy and scandal has, has taken on her and her family. And I, I think she's a hero for, for, for believing in me, believing in the campaign, and, you know, then really working hard now to set about making life safer for, for the rest of us. I, I, I think this woman is a hero. She deserves a damehood, as far as I'm concerned. I couldn't agree with you more. And that's really important, I know, to you, Charlotte, to, to honour your son, you know, to honour Harry, to make sure that this doesn't happen again, to, to sort of keep... It's a, it's a legacy for him, isn't it? It is, yeah. You know, one of our main aims was also to make sure that no other family ever have to fight and go through hell and high water to, to get the justice that they fully, fully deserve. So really important to us to build a legacy for Harry and really important to make sure that we now get protocols in place as best we possibly can working with the UK government to make sure that, you know, that's it. You know, anyone else, nobody else ever, hopefully, will ever have our fight that, that we had. It's been awful. Well, if anybody can do it, you can, that's for sure, because we know... I mean, I, I can't even imagine what you've gone through. Um, it's, it's been horrendous, and I know that, in particular, it has really hit your, your son, Niall, who's had his twin, of course, yeah. and um, it's been devastating for him. How is he doing? He's doing better since yesterday. Right. I think Good. he... Um, we've seen an improvement in him just since the first magistrate's court appearance in September. And then he was with us there, and he was with us in court at the Old Bailey when we heard the guilty plea on the 20th of October. And again, we could see him lift a little bit more. And then yesterday was just... He was so proud. He was so proud. And um, to hear him tell me that he's proud of, of me and, and what me and his, his dad and the, the rest of us parents have achieved was just everything, everything to me. He's, uh, he's improving, thank you. I'm so glad about that because, it, I, again, can't even imagine the, the suffering that he and all of you have, have had to go through. Um, but now do you think that you will be able somehow... Obviously, you know, you'll think about him every single day, you'll, you know, Christmas is coming up, it's, there's that empty seat at the table, all of that. But can you now start to grieve and move on? Is that possible? I certainly think so. I, I don't see any reason why not now. You know, we've achieved everything that we had set out to achieve where justice was concerned. So it's time to, to recommence the therapy properly. It's time to turn to our GPs again for help should we need it, lean on our family and friends and... Yeah, we'll do Christmas this year. We'll raise a glass to Harry and it's time to start to celebrate his life. Well, 
more power to you. You're an astonishing lady. Thank you, Charlotte. Thank you, Rad, Thank as well. You. Apologies Thanks for that. For there was a little announcement there. Not quite sure what that was all about, but it's absolutely fine. And you've done an amazing, amazing thing on behalf of your boy. Thank you so much, Thank both you. of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having us.